Imagine needing just a two-day infusion along with an occasional redose of that medication just to keep your immune system working properly so that you don't need daily insulin therapy for the rest of your life. And that's why I'm really excited to share the latest results from Sab Bio's clinical trial using their therapy called Sab142. This drug hopes to be part of the cure for type 1 diabetes. Before we get into the recent clinical trial results, let's just make sure we're all on the same page. This is what you need to know about Sab Bio's investigational therapy that aims to be part of the cure for type 1 diabetes. It starts with a super safe and innovative type of immune modulator, which means it's changing how your immune system works. But this isn't like, you know, those immunosuppressive drugs you've heard about that come with nasty side effects and you have to stay home afraid to catch any germs. This is different. It's an immune modulator. This drug is a type of immunoglobulin that is derived from human genes. Instead of the way immunoglobulin is usually made, using rabbits. That's an older type of immunoglobulin and it's not the perfect drug. Sab is trying to make a better version of immunoglobulin. That's why they're not using rabbits. Sab's human form of immunoglobulin is actually produced using genetically cloned cows. So Sab's immunoglobulin therapy actually tells your immune system to stop attacking and destroying the cells in your pancreas that produce insulin. Sab's form of immunoglobulin is a big deal because you can take it more than once without getting sick. So that alone is groundbreaking. They've already done something incredible. They've created a form of immunoglobulin that can be dosed over and over. All right, so how is it going? Well, SAB's current clinical trial is taking place in Australia with people who have been recently diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and it's going really well. So the latest results from their trial are super exciting, but the results can also actually be a little confusing. So we're going to take a closer look. SAB142 is a two-day infusion treatment, and here's what's amazing. They have already proven that it can be given without causing serum sickness. And they think it can be given more than once. That's a big win. And this next phase of research will continue to evaluate this. In terms of its ability to actually change your immune system, they've already proven that it works very similarly and as effectively as the rabbit form of immunoglobulin. But here's where the latest clinical trial results are groundbreaking. So other drugs like this can produce something called anti-drug antibodies, which basically means the body is fighting against the drug. The body is reacting to the drug in a negative way. That's what leads the body to producing antibodies to actually fight against the drug. And that means the drug isn't going to be as effective. But Sab Bio's therapy does not have this problem. It can be administered multiple times without making the patient sick, without causing serum sickness, and without triggering the body to produce anti-drug antibodies. This means it does not gradually lose its ability to protect the cells in your pancreas that produce insulin. So this ongoing clinical trial is called the Safeguard Study. So the Safeguard Study is proving that this drug works. Of course, for those of us who already live with diabetes, mm, depends on how long you've lived with it, if it could actually help you. For people who've been newly diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, this drug could help with the following things. Keeping your blood sugar in your target range, protecting your natural production of insulin. If you've been newly diagnosed, you still produce some insulin. If you're protecting your natural production of insulin. If you've been newly diagnosed, you still produce some insulin. If you've lived with type one for 25 years like I have, you're not really producing any of your own insulin anymore. Reducing your daily need for insulin via injections or pumps. Improving your A1C. And of course, lastly, reducing your risk of diabetes complications down the road. 
Sab is also looking at using this drug for people in stage two of type one diabetes. That's the stage when you test positive for autoantibodies that show your immune system is attacking the cells in your pancreas that produce insulin, but your blood sugar levels are still relatively normal because you're still producing enough insulin. That means Sab's therapy could potentially prevent people in stage two of type one diabetes from ever needing daily insulin therapy. That's a really big deal. So how safe is this drug? Well, there's an important blood test that measures something called lymphopenia, which sounds scary, but in the case of Sab's drug, it's actually a really good thing and it's not dangerous at all. In fact, the presence of lymphopenia means that the drug is working. It means the drug is interacting with your immune system exactly the way you want it to. But unlike other drugs that affect the immune system, Sab's therapy is only talking to the cells that are especially aggressive. It's only affecting the cells in your immune system that are going after the cells in your pancreas that produce insulin. Sab's therapy is basically telling those specific cells to calm down, to stop attacking and destroying the cells in your pancreas that produce insulin. That means the drug is protecting those cells. So that means the presence of lymphopenia while you're taking Sab's therapy is a really good thing. But the clinical trial results also show that the body is recovering from lymphopenia very quickly. This means that there isn't permanent cell damage. The cells have not actually been killed. So this means that Sab's therapy is much gentler on the body compared to other drugs like it. And like I mentioned earlier, you can get multiple doses without getting sick. So like, imagine this, someone develops type one diabetes and they get an immediate dose of Sab's therapy and that protects their insulin production for a couple years. And then maybe they get another dose and then maybe they need another dose a few years after that. That would be really cool. I know it doesn't help those of us who've already lost the ability to produce insulin, but there's something for us too. This drug actually has so much potential to help people at any stage of type one diabetes. All right, so first we have the people who are still producing their own insulin in stage one or stage two of type one diabetes. They have not officially started insulin therapy. Sab's therapy could potentially prevent them from ever needing daily insulin injections or using an insulin pump. That's a big deal. Then we have the people who've been recently diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Sab's therapy could protect the insulin they still produce on their own, which would keep their dependence on insulin therapy via injection or pump very low making diabetes still a lot easier to manage. And then you have the people like myself who don't produce any insulin anymore because we've lived with type one diabetes for so long. Sab's therapy could still help us. It could be used in combination with transplanted cells that produce insulin. Other companies have produced cells manufactured in a lab that don't rely on human donors. So imagine if you've lived with type one for a long time, you get a transplant of those cells, you start Sab's therapy, and Sab's therapy protects those cells from your immune system. That would be really cool. Where do I sign up for that? We have to be patient. This is not available yet to everybody. They are still in clinical trials in Australia. All of the above sounds like a future with type one diabetes where we don't have to worry hour by hour about our blood sugar, and we don't have to worry about diabetes complications. I am personally very hopeful, and I'm looking forward to hearing Sab's next update on this groundbreaking therapy. Wait, let's not wrap this up without a big shout out of gratitude to all the researchers on Sab's team that are working so hard on this. Please keep going.